sick few days recently in the shackling prison. I had a hard time trying to leave. I'm very happy to be seeing you again. Coaching a war dance contender. How about training Huahua so she can join the war dance and fight against a few others? Isn't this much more effective at training one's bravery than watching horror flicks? Huh? That's what you were thinking about? No, 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 no. One punch and I probably won't stop crying for ages. Please don't do this to me. So that kid you're training, uh, Luca or whatever his name is, he got beat anyway. Isn't this the perfect opportunity to throw Huahua into the mix? Oh, right. Is Mr. Luca doing all right? The news said he couldn't even stand. Since Mr. Luca is really popular, he'll definitely clear the popularity revival vote in return. Please cheer him on. Oh, what cheering? You're just trying to change the subject, you timid brat. You don't want to fight in the war dance, do you? Huh? Why? You got beat senseless? Just because he got thrashed? Extra, extra! Brat even more cowardly than Huahua discovered. Read all about it! Don't say that, Mr. Tail! It's probably really emotionally damaging to realize how huge the skill gap is between you and your opponent. Is that the reason you don't want to fight? <sighs> If that kid wants to forfeit the match, coach, why don't you give Huahua some proper training and forget about this mess? Actually, hallucinations. There's a way to deal with them, as long as there's someone who's superb at dealing with matters of the heart and a kind-hearted Heliobus willing to help out. What are you lot looking at me for? Stop looking at me like that! Do I look like a psychiatrist to you? Ah, you people! I bet you think I'm super useful, don't you? I'm charging a fee next time! Thank you, Mr. Tail! You're lucky I'm a big softy on the inside. Where's Luca now? Take me to him. You're back! Who are these two? Oh, Luca's fans! Luca, your fans are here to see you! Uh, uh, hang on! What's this? It, it, it's a ghost! Oh, oh, uh, to think Luca has fans from realms that transcend mortality! <laughs> Good thing I'm already used to such reactions. Hello, Luca. I'm Hoha, and this here is Mr. Tail. We're your fans. Oh, my fans. Sorry to have disappointed you. <sighs> Luca's really down in the dumps now, and he can't lift his spirits up for anything. I ordered a couple pounds of grilled meat for him, so he might have a feast to cheer him up, but he just sat there all moody and devoured the lot. No matter how bad my mood is, high-quality protein is never to blame. Actually, Mr. Luca, we're healers invited by Miss Nameless to help you with your depressive emotions and hallucinations. But there is no we. I'm the only one here who's powerful enough to perform such a difficult task. Everyone, I've already withdrawn from the tournament. 
Please stop wasting your time and money on someone as useless as me. I can't take it! The depression he's radiating is making even me uncomfortable. Ugh. Hurry up and let me in. I'm really gonna start charging money next time. Uh, this... Mr. Tail? What are you doing so close to me? <sighs> Cold! I was shivering for a second there. If we're to help the kid find his confidence again, we'll have to strike at the root of the problem and remove it completely. <sighs> Let's just make it quick. Margie, you're here to watch me fight again? Yeah, you're just too strong. I was so scared when those three big guys came out, but you managed to beat them all. I really hope I can grow up to be strong like Luca one day. Of course you will. You just have to eat well, sleep well, train well, and you'll be even stronger than I am. When that happens, you'll be able to KO me in just a few punches. Then yell triumphantly in the ring? The Multamerville Warrior! The peerless Boulder Champion! Defeater of evil throughout the world! <laughs> Not that, Luca. That's the line when you defeat the baddies. Ah, it's getting late. You should be getting home. The early bird gets the worm. That's how you grow big and strong. Um, Luca? I might not be able to watch your next match. <laughs> That's all right. Even if you're busy, I know you've always got my back. Just remember to come by for the match after that. I'm facing off against the decapitating singer, Congiorni, and you can't miss it. Luca, I don't think I can make it for that either. For a long time after this, I might not be able to come. Uh... Huh. Uh, what happened? I really hope I can grow up to be strong like Luca one day. Margie? Margie, where are you? Margie? Margie? Margie! Where did you go? I still haven't seen you grow up big and strong. Luca, who is that little girl? Her name is Margie. A fan of mine. She always came to watch all my matches. We got to know each other later and started chatting. But in the end, I still didn't really understand her situation. It wasn't until much later that I learned serious illness and was battling for her life against it. <laughs> the underworld is impoverished and the doctors tried their best, but they couldn't... they couldn't cure her. <sighs> My condolences, Luca. <laughs> uh, you may not be familiar with the place of my birth. I was still a child. Everyone led hard lives. Teetering on the brink of death at all times. Some went to monsters, others to bandits. I've seen so much death. Back then, I thought we were just too weak. If I could get just a little stronger, even just a little, we could vanquish our foes and keep on living. I did get stronger later on, and became the boxing champion who trounced the entire underworld. At the time, I believed that as long as I swung my fists, no one could defeat me. I could be a role model for all the kids in the underworld. I could tell them that 
matter how scary the opponent was, as long as we kept on fighting, we would win out. We would definitely win. But when I wanted to tell Margie the news about my victory, her father told me she was gone. Margie, uh, she was battling the demons of her sickness with that frail, tiny body of hers. She was always battling. She must win the next round. In the end, I finally understood that there are always unwinnable battles in life. Some fights, no matter how much you need to win. You still lose. Just like I faced off against Mr. Boothill. I lied to those kids. And to myself. I can't face them. He's avoiding the problem. Let's catch up and see how it goes. Dead gum, Wubba Boo! Others might play games with you, but I ain't playing. I'm putting my life on the line here. But if you don't even have the guts to do the same, then what are you here for? Come on. Look down the barrel of my gun. Walk over here and take a swing at me. You got the guts. Luca, come on. Get over here and take a swing at me. You got the guts. Uh, uh, speak up! Bring it on, Boot Hill. I'll make you eat your own words. <laughs> Screw up a boo. You've got some guts. Bullets don't have eyes, so don't blame me for being ruthless. Feet was graceful. Not everyone has the guts to charge at a loaded gun and land a punch. <laughs> what else could I do? Turn around and leave. Accept defeat. How is that any different than taking a desperate stand? No matter what I chose, my life wasn't in my own hands. Don't you get it? If he wanted me dead, I wouldn't have had the chance to even muster an ounce of resistance. In short, it was Mr. Boothill who spared my life. I hate this feeling. It makes me feel powerless, like my life is within the palm of their hand. Like all my efforts to fight back seem like a... Like a joke. That girl, Margie, when she... Confronted the demons of her sickness. She must have felt this way too. No? You idiot. Is there anything in this world that isn't in the palm of the universe? <laughs> Even our Heliobi ancestors were trapped in the furnace. Even the eons must walk the path. Freedom? <laughs> Is freedom really that important? You don't get it, Mr. Tail. I just don't want to lose. Uh, why'd he run off again? Forget it. We're almost in the depths of his inner world. The nightmare causing his loss of faith should be hiding there. Run! Run! Run, you fool! You can't win! You'll die! Run away! Quickly! Flee! You can't win! Run back to Belagon! The skill gap is too much! You'll die! 
You're still thinking of bringing glory back home? To have your name exalted? Dream on! You absolutely can't win! Run! Are you not afraid of death? Hey! You pieces of trash! Stop spewing nonsense here! Scram! Who are you? You don't belong here! You should not be here! Invaders! Invaders must be purged! You're kidding! You're trying to get rid of me? Oh, this is outrageous! Refusing the toast, more seasoning. Commencing support. <gasps> Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Enemy. Enemy data search network is activated. Time for a good old counterattack. My like my friend. <laughs> Indulge yourself! How about the cat? Destined for oblivion. Luca, I've cleared out that noise messing with your head. You better get it together. That noise? Mr. Jepard, uh, an officer in Bellabok. He said something like that, too. A person's inner voices make far too much noise, especially so during safe and quiet moments. Ironically, the voices that truly matter often become audible only in moments of pain, discomfort, and peril. When I was staring down the barrel of Budil's gun, I realized Mr. Depart was right. My inner heart was at peace. There was only one sound that was yelling non-stop. It got louder and louder, until it just overwhelmed everything around me. The voice said, Run, run, run away quickly! You'll die if you don't! That was the truest voice in my heart when I stared danger in the face. <laughs> I guess it means I'm not as strong as I thought I was. Your inner voice told you to run. So, uh, why did you still charge towards him? <laughs> because there was another weaker voice. So weak that I could barely hear it. But it still managed to reach my ears. It said, if you run now, you might as well just die here. So you did well. You charged forth. But I lost, Mr. Tail. I listened to that very important voice, and I lost terribly. Even if I were to be revived, I would still lose. If not today, then tomorrow. <sighs> no matter how strong I become, would still eventually lose. <laughs> My sight! <laughs> You're killing me here! You're a real comedian! <laughs> Isn't that just common sense? <sighs> you humans are very fragile. <laughs> Helio by R2, of course, but uh, uh, that's not the point. The point is... Life is a fight in a ring you're bound to lose. Aging, uh, disease, 
unattainable desires, each one will knock you out. Death just lands the final blow, making your friends and family cry. And if there's nothing but a path of complete and utter defeat to walk, what exactly can be considered winning? Fool! What's the point of asking someone else this question? Huh? Isn't that something that only you can define? I... don't understand. You might as well be a single-cell organism. Let me ask you a question, and answer it properly. That young fan of yours, Margie, she fought with her illness her entire life, and she didn't make it through in the end. Tell me, did she lose? Huh. She did? Huh? But she tried her best in everything she did. She was always putting up a fight against her sickness. One punch after the next, she was the greatest boxer there ever was. In my heart, Margie won. And she won in style. See? You fully understand, don't you? <laughs> there are rules to victory and defeat in the ring. But with our lives, only we get to dictate the rules. Luca, the most important thing is to always throw the next punch. Most important thing is to always throw the next punch. Thank you, Mr. Tail. No, oh, but stop! Stop! Stop it! Ugh. I can't stand people's gratitude. Ugh. Ugh. Now that you've gotten yourself together, it's time to give it your all in your repishage. Miss Carmela, coach, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have given up so easily. Luca, what's with you? I decided to participate in the popularity revival repishage and return to the war dance's stage. That's great! Luca, you finally come around! Huh, that's fantastic! I was sad seeing you so depressed just now. Yes, thank you. All of you. I'll never back down from a fight ever again. But what happened just now? Luca just came to his senses after that green flash of light. This treatment is a little too... effective, isn't it? Maybe it's because I've seen too many bizarre things after arriving on the Wolfu, but after witnessing Mr. Tail's capability, I'm actually surprised that I'm not very surprised at all. Hey, who are you calling a bizarre thing? Speaking of which, doesn't the popularity revival repishage rely on popularity votes? Is Mr. Luca qualified to join the Repishosh? Let's see... let's see... Uh... Huh! I found it! Luca! The list! The Repishosh! He's in it! Kid, looks like you're gonna be busy! A pity! I'll have to temporarily shelve my plan to have Wawa get pummeled! my match again next time. I won't disappoint you after all the help you've given me. Okay, this is far enough. Go back and take care of your business. Oh, it's suffocating trying to keep a secret. I have to spill the beans. Mr. Tail actually came to look for you, too. You dare. Judge 
mind when you can't even keep a secret? <sighs> Forget it. I'll deal with you when we get back. Anyway, you heard it. You better be a good coach and make sure that kid wins a few matches in style. Got it? Good. I'm counting on you then. We're leaving. I'll see you some other time. Bye! Do your best in the popularity revival repishage! Hua Hua and Tail have gone home. I should also head back to the lounge to prepare for the repishage. Since I've been given the chance to participate in the repishage, I have to make the most of it. Not disappoint everyone who's been cheering me on. <laughs> With a dedicated coach like you, of course I'm gonna win. But I'm still not quite clear. What are the rules for this popularity revival match? According to the previous war dances, the repishage is a free for all among popular contestants that have been eliminated. There's only one winner, and only the winner can rejoin the knockout stage. But General Jing Yuan has amended the rules, hoping to give more opportunities for the contestants to showcase the beauty of duels. It is said that the La Fu has invited a highly reputable warrior known for his virtue to serve as the referee for the repishage. Have you guys heard of the Knight of Beauty? Oh, the Astral Express is so well connected. I've run into so many friends of yours already while participating in the war dance. Mr. Luca, I'm sure the knight will see the beauty in your powerful punches. I truly hope you win. <laughs> uh, thanks, Miss Carmella. I will succeed. That way I won't have to worry about getting a permanent role anymore. <laughs> when I punch? It's not like I can see myself in action. Will I impress the Knight of Beauty? Knights of Beauty sounds like an organization with high aesthetic standards. Don't overthink, Luca. Think about Margie and always focus on your next punch. Are you ready to showcase your style? I'm all set. I'm gonna win this. No doubt about that. to the challenge Argentine, the Knight of Beauty is a super popular young hero, Luca Stronga! Luca, the entire cosmos has been waiting for your return. We all love you. Good to see you again, dear friend. Your demeanor is still as captivating as ever. As much as I want to keep chatting with you, dear friend, please forgive me for not giving you as much attention today. You're not the star of the day. It's Luca. Uh, 
Um, it's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Argenti. I've heard a lot about you. Oh, they say you're really great. I'm pretty good myself, too. <laughs> this isn't my first time seeing you. I was there when you had the duel with Gugu. <laughs> Mr. Argenti, I'm sorry you had to see that spectacle. But please, don't underestimate me because of that. No, not at all. When you stepped forward and swung your fist at a formidable opponent fearlessly, the beauty of that moment struck me. I've been replaying it in my mind for some time, and it always brings tears to my eyes. You're making me blush. I, I lost so badly, it didn't really seem beautiful at all. I must correct you, Luca. Idrilla never promotes the twisted notion of winners being more beautiful than losers. Budhu was only trying to scare you, but you weren't aware of that at the time. You thought you were dying, but for the sake of your dignity, honor, and home, you stood firm and threw a punch. In my view, that's combat aesthetics at its finest. However, even though I hold you in high regard, we still have to compete, according to the rules of the War Dance. No problem. I won't disappoint you, Mr. Argenti. Well, let's try and begin. Luca, prepare yourself. Look at VIP. Don't let me down. You're invited to perform. Stay put! Get them! Hey. Until I, I will protect all beauty! Please take this seriously, Luca! The opponent strikes again! Put forth all your might! Rise to the challenge. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all. We have it. There's no backing up now, for me or you. The flesh. I get you. Think of these moves. Challenge. <laughs> Bending the room. Keep 
Protect all beauty! Do you know who this big diamond? It's all yours! Uh, Who's the little fat rise to the challenge? Diamond uh, uh, I'm giving you one last chance. <laughs> Don't let me down. Uh, the duel commences. We? There's no backing out now. For me or you. I wasn't wrong about you. Your skills, wisdom, and courage embody the beauty of a martial artist. Argenti sees beauty in Luca. <laughs> that means Luca's strong arm is set to make a comeback to the war dance. Where are the Luca fans? Let me hear you holler. Three, two, one. Make some noise! Mr. Argenti, I'm truly grateful for your recognition. Actually, I'm simply using the authority granted by the Sienjo people to let you return to the tournament. You don't need my recognition at all, or anyone else's. <laughs> it's hard to understand your words when they sound so philosophical. No matter. Just remember one thing. You're already the embodiment of the beauty of battle, which is a fact. Regardless of winning and losing, or what others may say, it can't be taken away from you. Now, keep that in mind and try to digest its meaning when I'm back home. <laughs> By the way, I heard there's another war dance contestant who's good at using an iron arm. If you two are matched as opponents, it will surely be a magnificent dance. Another strong arm? Who could that be? Oh, I shall take my leave, Mr. Luca.
Miss Chintra has restored more parts of the record? Let's check them out now. Hopefully we'll find out the reason why Igor came to the Xianzhou.